One of the most powerful concepts of the emotion code has to do with the human heart. Ancient peoples believed that the human heart was the seat of the soul, the source of our love, the source of our creativity, and the core of our being. Now, modern technology is actually revealing to us that these ancient peoples were right in their beliefs about the human heart. When someone is really hurting you, when you are feeling deeply hurt or grieved, you can feel heaviness and other physical sensations that make you feel like your heart is breaking. If this happens to you even once or twice, your subconscious mind will put up a wall of energy, a force field, and this just so happens to be made with the energy of your trapped emotions. Your heart wall interferes with your ability to give and receive love, to connect with other people, to feel positive emotions, and to manifest the pure creation that lies within your heart. Given that we live in a volatile world, what's not surprising is that 93% of people have a heart wall. We can safely assume that most of the remaining 7% of the world's population is made up of young children that haven't been through much of life's trauma just yet. Many people find themselves feeling emotionally handicapped because of the walls around their hearts. But the emotion code can change all of this, giving you an incredibly rapid way to unlock the magic within your own heart. My team and I have found that the removal of a heart wall has resulted in the disappearance of depression virtually immediately in many cases. People have suddenly found themselves in love who for many years had been alone. I believe the discovery of the heart wall is the greatest discovery in the history of energy medicine because of the profound and life-changing effects that the removal of the heart wall can have. Think about these ancient beliefs for a moment. In the Bible, it states, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. And the Lord sees not as man sees, for man looks on the outward appearance, but the Lord looks on the heart. The Egyptians believe that after death, each person passes through a ceremony that they refer to as the weighing of the heart, in which the deceased's heart is weighed to discover what kind of life they live. Did you know that the heart holds on to memories? This is illustrated by heart transplant recipients who have reported strange symptoms, including changes in their music, food, and entertainment preferences, even changes in their handwriting. Many have even reported receiving memories that were not their own. Developments in modern technology continue to reveal more interesting information about the heart. We now know that the heart is the most powerful emitter of magnetic energy in the body. In fact, the heart creates a magnetic field that extends around the body up to 12 feet in diameter, according to measurements made with the magnetocardiograph machine, or MCG. It's even been proven in the laboratory that your heartbeat will become instantly measurable in the brain waves of another person when you are focusing love and affection on them. We learn from this that there is an invisible communication going on between us that we had never been aware of before. Scientists on the cutting edge of these new technologies believe that the heart can be considered to be a second brain. They believe that the heart is sending messages to all the cells of the body continuously, and that the brain in your head is actually obeying the messages that are being sent by the brain in your heart. When we discovered the existence of the heart wall, it felt like we'd finally found a major piece of life's puzzle that had been sitting in front of us the whole time. My wife, Jean, was born into a very volatile family. Her father was always flying into a rage about something, and as a result, no one felt safe. By the time my wife was two years old, her subconscious mind had created a heart wall, literally a wall of energy around her heart for protection. This heart wall did its job, but there was a price to be paid. Because of this wall of energy around her heart, it was more difficult for her to give and receive love. Because of this wall around her heart, she always felt isolated. Even with friends that she had known for many years, she never quite felt like she really belonged. In social groups, she always felt like she was on the outside looking in. It was difficult for her to feel positive emotions, but easy for her to feel negative emotions. She dealt with depression and anxiety and other negative feelings that she couldn't seem to shake. We found that her heart wall was actually made of multiple layers of trapped emotional energy or trapped emotions from difficult experiences that she'd had in her life. By releasing these trapped emotions one at a time, we were able to reduce the size of this wall around her heart and finally to eliminate it entirely. When it was gone, the changes she felt were powerful. Suddenly she felt like she belonged for the first time in her life. It became much easier to feel positive emotions. 
and her depression and anxiety disappeared. When trapped emotions and heart walls are released, people sometimes say it's like they can finally feel again. They can give and receive love freely for the first time in a long time. In that state, very interesting and wonderful things can happen. If you are at all frustrated with your love life, your social life, your health issues, or the level of financial abundance that you've been able to attain, a heart wall may be a big piece of the puzzle for you. I believe that the most important thing you can do to improve your health, your love life, and your longevity is to remove your trapped emotions, and especially your heart wall.